few decades ago, mobile stereos all came in what is called the standard DIN size. DIN, or D-I-N, is an acronym for the German name of the German Institute for Standardization, which established it. A DIN size boat stereo chassis is about 7 inches wide, 2 inches high, and 6 inches deep. This size was chosen because it accommodates the mechanism for cassette tapes and CDs very well. You may have also heard of double DIN stereos, which are twice as high as single DIN units. Today, cassette players are extinct, and CD players are becoming harder to find. The majority of new marine stereos are what we call mechless, meaning they have no mechanical parts to roll a tape or spin a CD inside at all. Instead, they consist entirely of solid-state electronics designed to interface with smartphones, MP3 players, and similar devices. This change has given engineers the freedom to design new stereos in many different shapes and sizes. There are pros and cons to this development which must be considered when you're planning to replace an old stereo. A new gauge style stereo has been developed that is small enough to fit in a typical 3 inch gauge hole on a dash. This is good news for boats that may have room for another gauge on the console, but not a full DIN sized stereo. On the other hand, if you want to replace an old DIN sized stereo with one of these, there are obvious problems. You'll need to use a mounting plate like this one to cover the old hole. But even then, a gauge style stereo is still taller than standard DIN, so you'll need to make sure there's enough room for it. This is another new style stereo that has a faceplate that is about 6 inches by 4 inches. The shallow mounting depth makes this attractive for certain types of installations. But again, you'd need a mounting plate like this to cover your old DIN size mounting hole. Some older boats use special covers and enclosures to protect the tape deck or CD player. Replacing one of these can be a challenge because the hole left behind is often much larger than is needed, even if you use a mounting plate. Certainly you can replace the cover with a new one like this. The only problem is that these types of covers can only hold standard DIN size stereos. This restricts your choices for a new stereo quite a bit, since only something that a single DIN size will fit. There are a number of stereos available that have a single DIN chassis, but the face is much larger. This is to accommodate a rubber gasket around the back side of the face fleet that seals it to the dash. Many people are disappointed to find out that a stereo like this will not fit in one of these covers. Unfortunately, nobody makes one that will accommodate stereos with the larger face, since waterproof stereos aren't supposed to need a cover. If you still aren't sure what will work for your situation, be sure to contact us and we can explain all of your options to you.